My hello there, Never Soul viewers. I am your hostess, Divine Empress, coming to you with a twin flame soulmate, divine life partner reading for those of you who are in separation on the road to reunion, who are in reunion and just checking in. When I speak on separation, I do mean physical. For some of you, you may not be in separation, but I am speaking to those that are on a divine journey. I want to bring up something. Um, somebody made a comment and was saying, um, what if divine feminine is not ready? What if divine feminine needs divine timing? Um, which could be true in, in your case, you know, but um, in most cases, divine feminine is already on her journey has already um, become whole and complete. Now remember, it's still a, it's still a process. <laughs> it's not like one day you'll be healed because you decided to heal. No, it's a process. You know what I mean? So long as you choose today, you can start healing. So these are to the actual divine feminists who chose the divine. It's a, dif a difference. Like, you know, it's one thing to be, you know, a divine feminine is another thing to just you know, be someone who's interested in healing. You have to choose the divine. Every day we get up and we make a choice. Choosing the divine is choosing the God that's within you. Choosing the light. It's a choice. You get what I'm saying? So the choice is yours each day. You get to make that choice. Choose to be fearless. Choose to be grateful for everything that you have now. Choose to be open to receive all the miracles that's ready to come in for you. Especially those true divine feminists that have been doing the work, who's ready, who's patient, who's been holding space. Your your uh, well-earned rewards are coming to you right now, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what messages we got, though. What messages we got? Try not to allow, allow anything to upset you. Remember, like, you want to stay at a high, higher vibration because once you lower your vibration, it attracts more lower vibrational beings, okay? And we ain't trying to attract none of that, all right? We try to attract high vibes like our soul tribe and stuff like that. That's why some of you may not have met your soul tribe yet because everybody's still healing and trying to get to their level. You get what I'm saying? But the level up is here. What messages, Divine Masculine, do you want your feminine to know? Remember, you have no reason to fear anything or anyone. Remember, you're protected and safe. If you're in a different type of situation where somebody is physically trying to assault you or something like that, then you have to take the necessary steps that you need to take, okay? If you fear for your life, okay? Take the necessary steps that you feel like you need to take. But as far as spiritually, you have to believe and know and trust that you're protecting and you're safe, okay? Trust in the divine. Call on your spirit team. They'll help you. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so for some of you, this is new. Um, for the most of you who's on this journey, okay, you know who I'm talking about. Your divine counterpart, your person, your twin flame, your soulmate. They're coming in different. This person, person is on bending knees. This person has flowers. Okay, the angels orchestrated this. Okay, divine intervene to bring this together. Nothing can stop it. Children, your love life is being influenced by children. This could talk about them wanting to have children with you. <laughs> okay, they want you to have their babies. What else? They also could be healing some childhood-ish, some childhood wounds. You both could. You both could feel free and childlike with each other. Your inner child is safe and protected and free. What else, Divine Masculine? Very soon. Guess what's right here? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. And retreat. Somebody might want to do a getaway. They might be saving up some money for a getaway. Okay, that's for some of you. All right? For some of you, they may, you know, had to disconnect from the world to stack their money up. Okay? Some of them may have lost their job or looking for a new job. This could be you too as well. Um, career changes and stuff like that. Remember, at the Mercury goes direct. It's like action time. Time to put in those applications and all of that. If you apply for a job, you're going to get it. Okay, just have faith in yourself. All right. Get grounded. Get grounded. Get outside if you can. Get to the door. 
breathe in that fresh air, sit for a second, be grateful for, you know, your lungs, be grateful for the air that you can breathe, be grateful for your body, for yourself, for everything, you know? find gratitude and everything for the clean water that you have running out your spigot. For some people with none of that, you know, what's going on, Spirit, what you want us to know? Just breathe, fell out. Just breathe. What else? Just let it flow real quick, Spirit. What else you want us to know? Anything from this deck? Okay. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. And then I just say get outside and breathe. Breathe in that good love that's out there, okay? You inhale divine love and exhale it out to the world, okay? You have to be the love that you want to attract. You are breathing in that fresh love air, okay? Love is in the air, so just breathe it in. <laughs> I can't make it up. Like, I can't make it up. All right. What else? Naughty thoughts of you. Naughty thoughts of you. Please be gentle. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Just breathe. Naughty thoughts of you. Please be gentle. Okay. So this could be you. This could be a person for, I'm getting many different things with this combination. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I feel like this is love making energy. Obviously, it's love making energy. Okay. But um, it's also being gentle with each other at this time while you're already going through tough things. You get what I'm saying? So take it easy on yourself and others. Growth. Okay, people growing up out here, okay? People are taking that time to, to do the things. Remember, um, children came out. So this is like growing, becoming more mature, more wiser, more experienced, learning lessons. Four-page letter. So a person wants to express some things to you, okay? Also, the song came to mind, too. I'm sending you a four-page letter, and I enclosed it with a kiss. Uh huh. This person wants to open up and express to you and show you how much they've grown. They could want to have a little getaway with just you and that person and disconnect from the world. Um, they want to open up and express this to the heart to heart conversation. This is happening very soon. They want to show you the, the real them, the new them, because they did go through an ego death. So this person is brand new. You're not going to recognize them because when you were with them or talking to them or whatever type of connection you had in the beginning, Okay, this person um, was still in their ego. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. I don't know where the F went at, but <laughs> let go of the past. I wrote these kind of fast. Be patient. Be patient and let go of the past. I'm quite sure a lot of y'all is tired of saying, hearing, not just me, but in general, people saying you have to be patient. But that's what this whole whole journey was all about, is learning patience. You're not learning patience just until you get this person. Because after you get them, you're still going to have to be patient. <laughs> you know, when you have more kids, you're going to have to just be even more patient. You know, so that's what this whole thing is about. But it's time to let go of the past and be patient. Don't rush this. All right. They're on their way now. Prepare. And that's going right in there very soon. And please be gentle. They're in love with you. They are in love with you. Daydreaming and thinking of you. Courage. Trying to find the courage to let go of the past and just breathe and allow this to happen. Good. Moving in together. 
You are my true love. You are my true love. They want to make love to you. I can't make this up. <laughs> they want to make love to you. Please be patient. So we got pay, be patient twice. We got one that's telling you and one that's like asking, telling you nicely. <laughs> so that's double confirmation. We can move in. Can we move in together? Are you ready for that? Wow. So it's the same question in two different ways. One is saying moving in together. One is asking. So he's asking you, are you ready for that? Are you okay with that? They cry over this connection. I'm going to take some more. Epiphany. Epiphany. I'm going to leave it right on epiphany. So that's a major aha moment. That's a sudden realization, revelations, things coming to light. Okay? A, a higher understanding of what this is. It's like, wow, that's what that meant. That's what this means. Love is in the air. You are aligned. I feel deeply connected to you. So it's like a unexplainable connection. Angels by your side. Angels, oh, angels by your side. You're connected and aligned to the angels as well. Ready or not, here they come. I'm telling you, you better be prepared. Look, I'm ready. I'm ready. Twin flame. I feel deeply connected to you. Big changes happening. Ascendant masters helping bring you two together. So you have angels, ascendant masters, your spirit team, spirit animals, all guiding you. Okay, guiding this thing into union, all right? Think union is happening, okay? So trust the process. Quit worrying. <laughs> Quit worrying. Look, y'all. Engagement. Engagement, but not only engagement. Will you marry me? They want to propose to you. They daydream and think about it. They, they write in a four-page letter about it. They have so much that they want to say. You're crazy if you think that this person don't want you to. You're crazy if you think that you're, you're, you're the only one feeling all this deep feelings. They feel deeply connected to you, okay? And know you're not crazy. This is really happening. It's always been you. So please be patient. They're figuring it out. They got the aha moment. They, they got the epiphany. They got the message. You're heaven sent. You're sent from heaven. Keisha Coles. They can't sleep at night. Oh, Yeah. At the, the sudden realization, they realize that who they want to be with. They have so much to say. This person has grown so much. They have naughty thoughts about you, especially at night. Okay. But I'm getting all through the day. Um, they want to be gentle with you. They want to make love to you. They want you to be gentle with them. Like, this is a slow, steady love. So it's no rush. It's no rush at all. Let's see what else we got. Epiphany. They're in love with you. Please forgive me. Also, look. Please forgive me. I'm on the way. Make space now. I can't make this up. Okay? So they apologizing and all that. They like, I'm talking about right now. They like, I'm talking about very soon. Like, this is near future energy. Near future. Let's see. Go. Goal getting. Yo, I promise you. Look, something said lift up the cards, right? I lift up the cards to goal getting, right? And strength. And guess what was right under that? Guess what was right under that? The near future. I forgot the R, but the near future. I promise you. Talk to them, spirit. Let them know what's going on. 
Okay, we're gonna keep going. These cards I'm not gonna show like that. All right. What would you like to add to that divine masculine? What do you want your feminine to know at this time? What would you like your feminine to know at this time? Be confident, okay? Be brave. All right, this person feels like you're very confident and brave and sexy. Um, this is somebody who, the queen of wands, she gets up and go get it. She's very beautiful, alluring, seductive. Um, he also feel he or she feels like you're the queen of it. <laughs> but also, um, there were karmic energies that was trying to intervene, but I feel like this person is letting you know to be confident because they're choosing you. I'm going to cover some of it, okay? Be confident because they're choosing you, all right? They are choosing you. You see the karmic energy in the back? All right? The lovers with the queen of wands, they have made a choice. They feel like you're very sexy. You're the person that match them, match their energy, fire energy here. Um, also, Gemini. But this person feels like you're very intuitive. They are too as well. Um, they've been watching you for a long time from the sideline. And you know, they hid, they hid their true self. Like you see, he got a barrel on. He hid his true self from you at one point, And now he's ready to show you his authentic self. All right. He wants to open up and express some things to you. It's a lot of things that he want to tell you that he hasn't told you before. Um... Obviously, you turn him on, him or her. You turn them on so much. Because something, you know, I do have um, um, my pride community, gay pride community, you know. I respect y'all, so I know some, some relationships are same sex. What else, um, Divine Masculine? Would you like to talk to your feminine about? What would you want them to know at this time? There's a big change happening, okay? There's a big change happening. So your waiting is not in vain. You have a new beginning. They're saying hold on, hold tight, don't let go. <laughs> hold tight, don't let go, okay? There's a new beginning happening with the world. I meant the, um, the will. That's great fortune, okay? That's the tables turning. That's going from something, from nothing to something real fast because it's in the upright. So you could feel like it's stagnant or at a standstill. And the next thing you know, you got this new passionate beginning where, you, you know, y'all on one, each, one another. Y'all on one another. Y'all have this fiery energy towards y'all. Okay. This fiery, loving energy. Um, this is faithful. This is true. This is blessed. This is very blessed. Very fruitful. <laughs> New beginning. Okay. He, but first, they also want you to know that they had to walk away from a karmic energy. Karmic people, places, and things. Okay. They also don't want you to walk away from them. So for those of you who thought you was about to disappear, you wonder why um, nothing works with nobody else. is because your masculine is on a 5D interrupting it. <laughs> Okay, on a 4D, because they be actual traveling too, okay? They multidimensional beings, we all are, okay? But a lot of them know how to actual travel, and you wonder why things don't work out with other men. It's because energetically, they, they throw the interference. But they're walking away from karmic people, places, and things, okay, for this new love. They're choosing to come towards this new love, okay? They want... They once wore a, a mask, as you see the wolf mask. So they once wore a mask, and they're ready to take it off. They're ready to show you the real them. They don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to turn turn your back. They know that they did wrong. I did you wrong. You did me wrong. I take you back. You take me back. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. But anyway, they say and take me back, okay? They, this love was once too heavy at one point, but now they're like, all right, I'm going to lift with my knees. I'm a, I'm ready for it. Come on, spirit. Give me all you got. See how she just chilling in the cup? 
like she all in love and join it while he's like ready to put in the work now because she didn't already put in the work she didn't already carry this love and now she could fall back and chill that's what spirit is telling you you don't have no reason to worry right now everything about to fall in place for you because you didn't already put in the work they're ready to express their love to you in a passionate way they have a lot of passion and love for you that i can say okay it's a lot of cups and wines out here. That's all I see is cups and wines. So it could be um, <laughs> fire signs and water signs. This could just talk about the energy that you guys are in. Okay. This is like a face-to-face -face meetup. All right. This is them coming towards you, rushing towards you, face-to-face, -face, wanting to open up and express some things to you. Okay. Um, with the surrounding cars, I don't feel like this is an in and out energy. I don't feel like they want to rush in to just rush back out. No, not this time. There's a big change. They're changing from that that young boy, that young boy, young girl, to a grown person coming into that that royalty that ready to adjust that crown. Okay, that's been tipping for a while, but now they like up. Uh, let me fix my crown. Okay, you see how he's crowning her. They're ready to crown you. Um, also, they're ready to adjust their own crown. They're ready to show you how much love that they have for you. They're ready to express it to you. But they want to tell you this face to face. Spirit is helping them find the courage to do so now. You don't have to try to control this at all. Okay? Things are going to work out in your favor. Okay? As you see, the, the woman trying to pull the swords that's like trying to have mind control over somebody i feel like at one point this karmic energy may have had that mind control over this masculine and was using sex to do so sexual magic stuff like that but these masculines pulled back their sexual energy and walked away from these karmic energies they made a decision they made a choice a big choice okay and they chose you you're already chosen okay and now they're just they're just like getting their ducks in a row right now at this time so that they can come towards you. This person is not going to give up on this. All right. This person is not going to give up on you. This person is willing to, you know, persevere and keep pushing, even though they've been through so much recently, their whole life, they've been through a lot, but they're not willing to give up on themselves or you. Okay, and it's somebody this is somebody that goes all night. <laughs> These cards so crazy. Okay, so you will have victory and success. This person is ready to come to your home. Okay, y'all ready to move in together or something. Everybody is different. For some of you, this might be too soon, but for the lots of you, you're like, bring it on. I want my person. Your person wants you too. So some of you may be ending up getting a house together or something like that. Or they moving with you or you moving with them and then y'all talk about getting a house together. But right now they in the process of cutting people, places, and things off that no longer serve their highest good, okay? They in that ain't nothing to cut that bitch off energy, excuse my language. <laughs> uh-huh. But they will be communicating to you very shortly, okay? They want to talk to both lips, all right? They want to ask both lips some things, all right? <laughs> Trust me. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.